Hello everyone. So here's another set of DIY activities which is more of a logical based and uh, maybe you've seen these in uh, some form in my earlier activities also uh, because like it's for logical uh, spatial uh, uh, intelligence again these are the ones but uh, in these ones the level of difficulty is higher because uh, those ones which I made earlier maybe I can link down. Uh, she was near about three now she'll be turning four in october so i just thought to introduce uh, another level of difficulty because they were really loved by her at that age i don't know how she'll react now but uh, they have more level of difficulty and i'll explain what these are and they're diy so all the stuff is what you get at home or very cheap in market so what is it? it's an egg tray uh, these are the two set of beads one are the basic beads these four beads i'm using and they are the another small beads it has more colors like it has a dark blue sky blue pink red <coughs> so the two they are so first we'll start with the basic one that is uh, this one it has only three four colors orange green blue and pink only these uh, colors are there so uh, again this is a 5 by 6 matrix because this egg tray is 5 by 6 so earlier if you have seen my videos I would have given her the same size of uh, matrix to her to correspondingly put it but this size this is small and this is big so and this is not at all uh, marked with the lines or there's not clear demarcation if you see so it will be a challenge for her to again you know think in her mind and see where it will go so it will be like if you the first one will be a pink then second one has to be left empty third one has to go orange all right next has to be blue and the next has to be green so like that without any marking on the uh, baseboard she has to complete this matrix the same way this is second one is more complicated because it has more colors it is i think five or six colors red yellow pink uh light blue dark blue and uh, the beads are also very small here so yes when i'm going to give i'll not give her the full box i'll count how many are required and like that i'll give uh not to confuse her so like that again she has to match the colors in that five by six matrix and put them accordingly this is for spatial intelligence and logical thinking the second one is again matrix based which we would have seen in my earlier videos again but uh, level of difficulty is higher and because now she's turning four year old and uh, she isn't tear of things <laughs> so now some are very basic i've just taken a sheet of paper the drawing book sheet and uh, these are also i have not laminated uh, some are on the for some i stick uh, on the cardboard or the boxes uh, we get like that uh, most of them are simply plain sheet of papers because I didn't feel the need of it so starting from the basics uh, this is only two variables are there and uh, these are all uh, hand ways nothing printed all everything is completely done by hand okay there's no printing involved here so uh, just candies with different shapes inside and they're different colors and then again like this uh, is a red color candy with a star so like if she removes this card it has to go here now if she takes another one this is a green candy with a sun so sun and is a light green candy there are two colors okay I told you it's increased difficulty for her and the third one is orange with a plain one like that she has to put all the cards here okay so that is a basic one I'm starting with just to you know brush up the concepts because these games we did long back now the same one here it's big and small okay so and different shapes the basic uh, shapes we have like the big triangle inside is a small triangle so what will go big triangle here and small triangle here so like that it's a variation of the earlier games we did but still the level of difficulty is higher that's all maybe you have done it earlier with your kids already but uh, i really love these uh, you know these concepts uh, and uh, if you ask inspiration uh, I think I saw a game somewhere on YouTube it was a toy review and I saw such kind of games being made uh, I mean like formally you get the games in the market and I didn't see it was worth investing money on because they were really from foreign brands and uh, I didn't find it worth I, if I could think I can make it myself anyways and I any you know they'll not use it much so these are some ideas some are like and when you start making you get ideas again and again so uh inspiration is some toys i have seen in uh, big stores which are for logical thinking and i like this one uh so you have seen two by two 
this is three variables okay the houses have different shapes inside the different colors and there are three different uh, more colors okay so if you see these are the colors of the house i'm making this is the roof color which she'll make sense when she sees so like this one has green and brown and a square so green and a brown and a square like that now this is a blue and a brown in a square so like that it'll go sorry i just put it like that so you can laminate it also but uh, i mean i'm quite comfortable without laminating now so it has what i have i have a pink and a semicircle and a gray color pink semicircle and a gray color like that she has to place these ones okay so that is one level of difficulty uh this is one it is basic one but the uh, concept is the background has been changed okay so like this is uh I mean there are two colors only right orange and green but the the way lines having place is different okay so the child has to see like example and this is on the thick paper so it's a hard cardstock paper but everything drawn by hand so um it should go here like that like that she has to place all this card so like this is a vertical lines so uh, the thing is when you're revising when you're playing these games you're revising the shapes you are revising colors you are revising uh you know patterns you're revising vertical line horizontal lines tightly spaced line thicker thinner many things to talk about uh so like this one will go here so this has stars this has diagonal lines or slanting lines and this has zigzag you can talk about many things so uh, you know it just comes to my mouth in your playing uh now this was the highest difficulty it has four variables again you see uh triangle circle cross and a heart so triangle um, circle and a cross and a heart so the first one sorry, I have to open it and put it like that like that you have to match this four by four matrix so um if your child is older or already done it you can create five by six matrix two by two all these kind of things you can do with it but it's just that you know make the brain of a child think that is the basic aim so i have created many more like this is with the counting one two three there are three things changing shape count and the colors so like that you can match it uh this has three shapes in it uh i mean like uh three sides in it and it's four by three matrix and now this is with the stickers because i'm in love with it and because they're very tiny and uh so you know uh, child has to really observe which sticker like small pink fish a red fish or uh, these two are right this is this is only cat mouth this is a full cat sitting uh, like that so, and this is also a cat so black cat so those are their stickers but it's, it's kind of visually it's challenging mind has to be work very very hard for it so my kid has already done it so i'm going to close them for some time and take it out again but hope you enjoy all these games with your kids and let me know if you like them bye bye